Okay, everyone's back. Okay, so let's finally start with what you've been all waiting for, the real reason we are all here today. <laughs> <laughs> the reveal of the LCC7 Conlang relay. So just quickly to remind people and to, to, to tell people who don't know about it, what it is, a Conlang relay is a it's basically a, a game, a kind of a Chinese telephone game, where somebody creates a, a text in their command without a translation, they just send to somebody else the text itself, and enough grammar and uh, uh, lexicon that they can translate the, the, the text themselves. Then from this translation, the next person the, uh, translate that text in their own command, does the same and sends it to the next person. And it goes on and on and on until it's sent back to the first person who has to uh, take that last uh, and translate it back in the original, original language. And then we can all look at how distorted the text became after all these translations. That's basically it. And so everyone uh, has two days to do it. <laughs> <laughs> two days to do it, yes. <laughs> two days to do it. It has to be done quickly. Um, what we're going to do now is uh, reveal, uh, we have two rings uh, uh, for this relay, so to, it has, the text has gone through uh, two groups of people. We're going to do the ring one, which is the ring of the people who are, uh, were attending, if they are still old. Yeah, I hope. So, uh, ring two is from uh, people who wanted to participate but weren't sure they could attend or couldn't attend at all. We, we, we may look at this ring if, you have, if we have time, but we are really focused right now on ring one. What I will do is that I will call every uh, person at the, at the uh, moment that we come at their ring, we will ask them to uh, read their text out loud, and if, uh, just quickly uh, mention something about the language or about the text that they found uh, interesting or what they didn't understand, or whatever, what they felt, what happened when they were uh, doing the translation. Yes? That make you the Lord of the Rings. <laughs> okay, just for uh, originally the ring should have been started by myself. That was the plan. I was working on a text in uh, my news language, how to get it, uh, which should have been ready on time. Unfortunately, uh, events conspired to prevent me from working on the text at all, which meant that uh, basically a month or a month and a half before we should have started the, uh, the program relay, I was not ready. But so, so luckily, Tony Harris uh, uh, proposed himself to, t to take over, and I, s I had a text, I had a text in my head, I had something, and he, uh, eventually, what he did is that he took my original text and made it into his own so that the read could be used. This is the original text. This is the English that I was working on when creating the, uh, the object text, which is basically English with already ch changes made so that um, I knew what the object would look like. So that's why it starts with when there were dragons still. No, there were no, dra no dragons in the story. It's just. Uh, an idiom that means once upon a time. And uh, at the end, it's now that the dragons have left the land, that's how this and uh, a tale in this language. But as you can see, it's just a normal fable about the fact that in, uh, an, in a golden time, rivers flowed downstream and, up, and upstream at the same time, and that was very practical, but it caused all kinds of troubles. Uh, with the mountain daughters, which are not mountain daughters, but are kind of uh, uh, creatures, uh, uh, legendary creatures. Oh, well, we we'll see what it is. Don't know people who already uh, who were on in the ring. If you recognize anything from them, <laughs> <laughs> but. Uh, what uh, that was basically, and I hope one day to have it in our GFT, <laughs> and then I will add it to it. So, but here is what uh, Tony Harris made out of it, and if you could come here and uh, <coughs> present us your text. 
But this is always the fun part because you just have to take a test and blast it out. Um, so the elixir reads, Krishna's thread, say lion, um, or tava jarkam, shayajaskin eshkas, or ushekna or rakna, da eshtel, or yalekta. Nali avopaksish dalem, or sila dijena. Jupipalskets, avopekan, yava, like this, yava sedla zlushunya kayajimonisara. The basha deva, stalazonya a the <laughs> Shayanonia Sulna Eshtas, the Jimona Sarsa Tashnayar, Okaronia Alan Deshana, the Polit El Mogranonia's Lushun, Kaya Jimona Sara, Vain Rayan. And Sumajitna, Shayonia Echen, Jarkon Sulna Didi Chensana. So, just quickly, I guess, what changed here. I'm afraid the dragons went away really quickly because they <laughs> were supposed to be here. Well, and, and they left very quick. So, um, because that's not the expression that you would use in Alursa to talk about, you know. In, instead, Alursa talks about um, in the time before time. Um, and, you know, more or less the same story. You've got uh, the rivers that flow both ways, um, although in Alursa they flow. Um, up one bank and down the other bank. Um, and you've got the same evil men that spy on uh, what in here become uh, the daughters of the mountain, which is similar. Um, and then sh the, the daughters of the mountain talk to the mountain spirits and they get angry because these men are spying them in the, in the river and the mountain spirits talk to the river spirits. So there was, I found there was an interesting sort of, um, I don't know, similarity between uh, your people's sort of spiritual reality, if you will, and a lot of the sort of underlying alursa spirituality, which has a tendency to be a bit animist at its base. And so you have mountain spirits and river spirits and, and all that, and they, they're sort of these functional, um, like limited um, authority divinities or something. Um, so it hadn't really changed all that much by the time it got turned into a Lursa, um, other than those things. And then uh, I just passed that on to Ings and off we went. So, so the text that was then sent to well, Joey. <laughs> so, um, uh, I'll tell you a little bit about the race. Uh, the Aventier race in Dungeons and Dragons. They're aquatic people, and uh, what you get when you you read about them in the Dungeons and Dragons book is uh, they're a very idiomatic language and players are encouraged to have a, have a lot of fun with oceanographic idioms. So the very first thing is, you know, once upon a time is before waves, uh, and it actually has the, the preposition there and it's aquatic plural gender, um, and therefore is with waves, and uh, the order that is around a maelstrom, and it was because of this is for the moon changes the tides, um, when I got Tony's text and, and deciphered it, I, I had my tiefling grammar beside me. I was going to render all this in tiefling, which has its own conscript and everything else. And I saw the water imagery, and I think I had seven words invented in Aventi when I got the torch. So I very quickly came up with a lot of uh, lexicon for this language, and I have never spoken it out loud. Uh, I will say, uh, Paul, I, I was very influenced by not B for this. I love the vowel sequences. I 
actually drew a little inspiration from Hawaiian as well, so I've got these nice short syllables. I'll, uh, I'll give it a little try, just a little bit here. Kiwi kiwi ru, aui kua wu, rua wu, uia pawa koe. It's just the first line, I'm not going to try and do much more than that. But uh, I couldn't pass up the chance to very quickly develop this next front line. Thank you very much. Well, as, as you can see, there's already quite a bit of change. The daughters of the mountains have become daughters of the mountain tribes. <laughs> uh, we don't have uh, more, many evil men, but one evil man. So all the same. Tony can maybe explain this better than me, but there was a wonderful instruction from Alursa that says you have to find the plural reference in the sentence and then figure out where all the plurals were, and I very clearly missed a few of them. <laughs> but I noticed also that the, um, the rivers stopped flowing up and down, and now they just flow north and south. Well, yeah. up and down would be a waterfall and a reverse gravity waterfall. Uh, <laughs> that's what I was thinking. <laughs> but, well, it's, it's still close. <laughs> so next, this went to Matt Pearson. Okay, so this is Oklahoma. When I saw the Aventi text and the phonology, I said, Joey, Joey, Joey. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not surprised that you uh, resisted the temptation to pronounce the whole thing for us. I'll try to do the Okuna. Um, uh, it'll be easier if I read it off of this screen, I think. Urukatsuna hesihe ke soi ko tangati. Sikununa hesihe sihilal koipeme ahopiauta de sihilal yapme heuta sobe hepankawa. Estau kitau hen ikene punyati chapanga. Tomla ukau na pehma haba kasi husu tokununa sapalankana. Tomla ukau na pehe yomna na pe ya teo amilok tangat. Tena na ihao su tami timankat. Es luce gale kafalu, mok ka ame mitme hiele, chau pulanga na tomna ukao na pehe ifone do taya eskoa. Tomna ukao ame ka na pehma tomna hosmei pemu so tayaka inena hosmete. Tomna hosmi ma sikuno hosmei eskeat ki nat akta paine sikuno chefu abukauta so pae mistaite. Te mai tomna hos mima to kumo tsomo te tona kane tu meat to tunge tomna o kauna pehma sa pawan pankat ne tsem yok mai iksonut. Tatasko kufu tai he sihe chefu tau te tsana tlopa. So, uh, let's see, what's, what's to say about this? Well, uh, Joey very uh, uh, kindly uh, 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 gave me translations of all the idioms, uh, <laughs> non-literal translations of all the idioms, so I was able to unidiomize, I think, most of them. Um, so, yes, we still have, uh, so it's, it's uh, uh, I, I went, of course, with northwards and, and southwards, uh, uh, because we've lost up and down. Uh, south in Okuna is Ahopyaut, which is, Aho is sun, Piao is zenith, and if you add a, a t to the end, it sort of makes it a word that names a direction. So Aho Piaut is the direction where the sun is when it's at its zenith, so that's south. The, the Okuna have six directions rather than four. Uh, 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 what else uh, should I say about this text? Um, it allowed me to put in some lovely imperatives. Um, uh, like, um, uh, more, uh, more use. Oh, so I didn't have a word for convenient. That convenience is not really an Okuna kind of notion. Uh, so I changed it to uh, uh, the word kisoiga, uh, uh, which means useful or valuable, uh, having some sort of value, um, uh, something that you're able to do things with, uh, is what kisoiga means. Uh, and I also didn't have a word for neglect. Um, so I, I, um, uh, I changed it to uh, uh, disregard. Uh, 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 Sustama literally means to, um, to something like to habitually turn yourself away from somebody. Uh, so that's kind of like uh, uh, disregard. Uh, I wasn't quite sure what that meant. 
they were more beautiful than any other daughters in the world, and they would tend to disregard women. Uh, it didn't really make much sense, but that's what I thought the Aventi text said. Uh, so the disregarding was originally from the wicked men that disregarded their duties, and somehow it got moved to the daughter of the Um So, uh, 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 what else to say about this? Well, I had to invent the word for skirt past. Uh, 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 which is to go to pass by in a kind of tau means bow or or arc, so to go by in, a, in an arc fashion. Um, and uh, 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 it was it was rather hard to translate uh, uh, the third to last sentence. Uh, the best I could come up with was the mountain spirits asked of the river spirits that they would help make it so that the river would commence flowing only southwards. Which is rather hard to render in Okuna, but I tried my best. Um, yeah, so uh, thank you. Sure. So then the ring went to John. <laughs> so they're they're hiding they're hiding the uh, conciseness of Ipko by making the type larger. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, it, first of all, I'd just like to say it was a pleasure to translate from Okuna. It's, uh, it's a language that really just flows nicely. I had no trouble whatsoever I mean, in terms of understanding what Matt's text was trying to say to me, uh, dis despite the fact that there were no ex there were no ad positions, you know, <laughs> and, uh, and there were two converbs, but uh, based on his notes and just the intuitive way he puts his grammar together, it just flowed for me really. I had his, I, uh, he forgot to give me one word, but uh, uh, one gloss in the lexicon, but I kind of figured it out from context, uh, which he then substituted for me. Uh, otherwise, um, oh, and I discovered in the translation, in translating it, that somehow in all of Biff Quill's adventures, I don't, didn't have any way of expressing the uh, complain. I just didn't have a verb or any way to, to you know, if curl is um, quasi oligosynthetic. You know, you try you try to craft a new concept based on all the morphology before you cop out and just create a new root. You know, so, so I had to, you know, cop out and create the first new root in several years. Uh, <laughs> so, to, uh, so there's one there's one if cool root now that is not available in any of the online uh, uh, you know, resources. Anyway, let's give this a shot here. I'm sorry. I'm so basiosh our plan. We are class cloth so of sinkal three un a cliesunk three all. Is a cashier to uh he has a claoso squalana omul me lert as my door. Chasson spa Omoluti, oh boy, this one's tough. Omoluti, un yalra atatar ashke. O irtat akulish, excuse me, akulish umo al ome malertang ike luta omal. O if that tips umol, omalang, omalang el tul asverdo. Debat el tul asmaerdo, el tut kaed, auklawandorj, hurts ribu lask. U aplanduns, el tul asmaerdo, tailea, ia vet lorchent, omel, i hol opwa. Ut aplandaka for i lask. So uh, let's see. One, just one thing I want to point out that. You know, occasionally I actually impress myself regarding my language. Um, <laughs> just showing off some of what its morphology can sometimes really pull off that surprising is the third sentence of the, of the uh, text. Thus, it was easy to travel northward and southward. The entire sentence. One word in it goes. <laughs> and uh, what makes that possible is just it just so happens that it has uh, its lexicon relating to paths and trajectories is um, such that the 
core meaning is not yet divided up into a particular uh, orientation on the path. Is it going this way or that way, you know, up or down? It's just vertical path, and you know, we may be going up it or we may be going down it. You know, so in this case, um, uh, flowing northward or southward. Well, there happens to be a route specific to paths that go in a northward southward axis. So as a result, all I have to do is mention that route, and I don't have to do anything else, and you're already traveling either northward or southward or both. So that's what makes the kind of some some kinds of conciseness possible. Anyway, thank you. that suddenly the, the uh, uh, daughters in the water became a girl child, which was more difficult than all the girls, and they just get into the world then. And uh, the, I've seen the mother appear already a few texts ago, but I still don't understand where she came from. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but the rest is really, uh, it's still <coughs> water flowing in both directions and ending up right, flowing in one direction. So a, a comment on this. So uh, in Okuna, uh, Okuna makes a, has a singular plural distinction, but it's not made on nouns, it's only made on the verb. So the only way you know if a noun is singular or plural is if there's plural agreement on the verb. And so uh, I, 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 I wonder if that's the reason why suddenly all of the plurals have become singular. <laughs> <laughs> Given that uh, yet has something quite similar, and not all verbs as have of that plural agreement, I think it would have been picked up much earlier. <laughs> So then if we went to Mahalai for Jeffrey. I'm gonna read the text first, then I'll talk about it a little bit. Kala loa loa, mao koko ana o ka kokwa, ana mea eo ka ao o ka kaho ai. Ikahi iyo he me iya ma ka kapa, ikahi a a kao ma ka kapa ke ka. No lewa, e maalahi ana o ka ka ahile ana. E ao ana ki te hini o na ua ua, o na maona ma ka loka wai ma ka kapa, o ka kaha wai. E oi aku ana no, o ka nani o he ua ua a ikahi ma mua o na ke ka ki. Ma ka e ma o ko, o le ana ko na nani i a ya. E ne e... A e ana o he tane, lawe hala a e ara puni tane i ka makua imi o ka pua pua no e kia i iho ana i ia i nā u nā e kuku ana o ka makua imi a ua pule ia i ia ka akua o nā mauna. Ua noi a e o ka akua o nā mauna i ka akua o nā kahawai o no ka kahe iho ana o ka au i ia e ma wale no. Wa hoko ao o ka akwa o nga mana i ka ao akwa e e o aku paa nui e wa hewa. Nei lela e hiki ana i a nga pua pua o nga mana e au au nele ka ike i a ana e he mao i kana ka ke ka. No lela ke kahe i hou nei o ka ao o ka ka au i i a he ako ao o o kahi. This morning. Um, so, Mahalaki is an a posteriori, a posteriori language with a single source, which is Hawaiian. And um, when I started the language, about halfway through, I completely converted it into a test lang to test a uh, uh, an experimental hypothesis in L2 language learning. And so it changed its name, and the code grammar changed around, and the phone, the phonemes did it, but pretty much everything else changed. So it's interesting. There's a paper on Fiat Lingua about the experiment that explains the rationale, shows the questionnaires, shows all the statistical results, uh, and um, so it sounded sort of like Hawaiian, it's because it sort of is. Uh, the only thing I wanted to add, that's sort of. Curious, two things is that in the third paragraph in English, there's the verb, a simple man would creep. There really isn't a verb to creep or skirt around 
or sneak around in ma'alaki. And so the verb is me'e, but it really is a derived form which means to move like an octopus. <laughs> <laughs> See now uh, they actually use rocks to stop the current and not to uh, uh, to hide the the bathing uh, girls or whatever. So this and now there's a maiden who's more beautiful, but she doesn't know that she's yeah beautiful. yeah yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah. No. Well, she used to actually uh, not uh, 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 not like the other women, and now she's just uh, unaware of her beauty. That's <laughs> Next one is uh, Shannon Moss. So this is my very first relay. This is my very first uh, <laughs> conway that I'm sharing. And this is pretty much uh, my very first conference. So. And this language is very much in its infancy, but um, I have to translate my language. Hava Heraya Mahan Kyai Nita Langan Likin Ninti Lui Luen Sui Benda Hubeini Lindo Tunga Rampa Kenden Lipa Kitana Ba Lindo Bingi Rampa Kenden Himpo Machi Kitana Hava Mantakari Nihichi Kao Yinge Via Takivan Trilo Himpo Rui Lichi Pagon Kuve la Langan, Lemu Guan, Kuri Hula, Kanimpo, Kenta Hinko, Glau Kenden Himpo, Kitana, Kawen, Himpo Duma, Banta Wenga, Kuve, Ni Kuri Hula, Krampon, Kayen, Lua Traya, Machi Kuri Hula, Na Du Kerraya, Chi Wenga, Pine Du Bankarion, Kuve Mantelen, Swen, Kiki King Wenga, Ube Campo Pinky Piggy Tapi Den Piggy Himpo Perkarion Traba to Tampa Ba King Tampa Piti Ni Cruz Ho Labarancha Ubeini Tonka Tampa Ba Yurancha Ube Kinda Kawan Kalawenga Ube Himpo Traba Koran Ba Rapo Wenga Ube Lindo Dumarosa Manta Kenga, Manta Kao, Mohomiti, Vetrusan, Lotata, Himpo, Rui, Vivenda, Ubeware, Kuninori, Lindo, Tonga Rampa, Suki Benda, Ube Dumarosa, Luen Sui Benda, Ini Lindo, Bingi Rampa, Lengen, Li Kentaminti, Kata Acha, Lego Benda, Ini Himpo, Sui Kurzon. Hava Ren Karyon, Swen Kao Kuri Hula, Taim Rui Sui Benda, Yuno Hinko, Gli Nori, Li Ren. I picked the phonology I did because as a child I would read something and I always discovered that I pronounced it differently <laughs> than the way it was really pronounced. So this was the first time I'd actually tried a language that um, sounds exactly how I would imagine it. <laughs> I hope you can read in the uh, English translation uh, in the same time because I, I see it's uh, quite, it's become a nice story about two pure women who couldn't see each other and now they can share the It's the only one dimension. That that's, that's completely logical. Yeah. Because like the current that flows north flows from the south, so it's hot, and then it cools from the other one, and there is steam, and so they can't see each other. <laughs> ah. Ah. And now instead of all rivers, it's only one river. Yeah. Well, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that has changed quite quickly already. <laughs> and, and and now the evil man is not trying to sneak up on the women, but trying to sneak around the women. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, Which makes me the mother of the women is angry. Is <laughs> angry that the evil man is sneaking past them. <laughs> you better stop and watch my daughter. <laughs> so, 
Okay, well, this is Aui, which is, um, as you may have surmised, my father's language that was uh, be started to be worked on in the 1950s, and I grew up with this more or less, and we were, my sister and I were the guinea pigs of uh, teaching this in any uh, opportune moment in psychology of communication classes, and um, it is an attempt to uh, build in a, a relationship uh, with reality based on uh, a set of proposed semantic primes, which I realize here it seems to be out of vogue at the moment, but uh, I will um, go ahead and read it anyway. Uh, okay. Okay. Ebonas, if makers, if at vias, and onas, if if makers. Fish, a hutu, sish, udrem, rufunu, veil, ye adevs, cab, eje. A ubbozevum, a gongu, je prepare, no foo. Deb jen of food shna pash ag yesh yel je ebonas pi jekas bam king big on ub on ub bozevum gonglo bapav me ne grown olivers mud uf ub ub bozevum gonglo Yug fe pa ish guha mat lo yut nu pa ish wam lov shan nu nu gom utu e bo te vrum tuk at yo pa ut kam ufum ufum as jag vi rum tondu ufum ish tol Toy and Ogepav Ib Al Apav Nu Pigom Utlu Ushtepav Vidom Ib Tunipav at Beku at Pev Nemam Ben Tutwe Food Uf Pi Ejen Om Avum at Nias Beku Viepav Jetev Jetevam at Yas, Dev Ibnem am Wim Wes Kudesavam, P. Jeva, Jeva. Fish Kutu Pin Rom Gomlu, Yov Shan Ufu, U. Ejen Fam Jetev Om Octav. I did, I did make the assumption that the pure women were virgins, so if I'm crude that way, that's... But I saw a maiden, so I think that's in the right direction anyway. So, um, yeah, and I made the assumption about uh, a monumental changing to be an earthquake. So, <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah.
Everybody who at my time when I discovered that I was not the only one who was not prolonging, one of the things that you discover is the, is the history and how we are always there. It's always one of the things you, you, you discover when you, uh, when you look around. So it's really an honor. Thank you. And then we went from Aoi to, I won't try to pronounce it. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Nadia is unfortunately couldn't join because uh, she didn't manage to get a visa. So, uh, also, she, I can't show you the English translation because we don't have one. Uh, I can but translate yeah. into English from Russian. Yeah, if you can. Uh, so, I won't try to, like, do you want me to read the Russian translation as well in case someone understands or? Should I? Yes, because I <laughs> Okay. Uh, Когда-то давно было знание изменившее течение реки. Uh, long time. Okay, sorry. <coughs> okay. Uh, am I on? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Когда-то давно было знание, изменившее течение реки. Uh, Some time long ago, there was a knowledge which changed the flow of the river. Было течение вдоль берега на юг и вдоль другого берега на восток. There was a current along one uh, bank flowing south, and along the other, <coughs> I can say, and along the other bank flowing east. <laughs> For some reason, <laughs> it used to be much easier for everyone to travel along this river. <laughs> it used to be. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, for a certainly long time, uh, a woman has been bathing in water in a pond near that mountain, uh, near a mountain. Okay, эта женщина была очень красивой, но это было знание для нее, ибо ее знание было понятно. Uh, this woman was very beautiful, but this was knowledge for her, because her knowledge was uh, comprehensible. Женщина смотрела с тайного высокого места, как тот ходил вокруг горы. Well, and this is from the Russian, because I don't know if it's a woman or the woman, but let's assume it's a woman. Uh, a woman was looking from a secret high place, how someone was walking around the mountain. Uh, the woman got angry and uh, told the mountain to start a uh, major earthquake. Гора остановила течение реки огромным камнем. The mountain stopped the flow of the river with a huge rock. Вот почему чистая женщина всегда смотрит в одну сторону реки. That's why the pure woman is always looking uh, only along one side of the river. Did I miss something or did the mother disappear? Uh, so, uh, like, it, it, there, are, there are lots of references to a woman, but because Russian doesn't have definite and definite right. uh, article, it like, the same one. yes, right. you can interpret it other way. You can pretend that every woman is a different woman, <laughs> or you can say that they're all one woman, and yeah. it's kind of ambiguous in Russian. It right. doesn't have the word mother. Yeah, yeah it's, it's always says woman. Woman, okay. Okay, so in Asian, it could also be like, of, like uh, women, well, to like what, like the one does kind of. Uh, well, женщина is like adult woman. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Right, thank you very much. Uh, let's go to the next one. Oh yeah, that's a photo. Of, uh, Nadia said that she was inspired by it, but probably the view from our, our window when uh, making the translation. Mm -hmm. So then we go to back to uh, Tony, who had to, uh, I think, made a very hard job to get this back into a, 
at the start of our presentation. It, it, it was interesting. Do you want me to do it? Yeah, please. Let's start again. No, um, my Russian is rusty enough that that would have been, um, <laughs> it would have been challenging if, if all of the vocab, I actually did get her vocabulary and it was her, um, her language and Russian and English. So I didn't like have to look up all of the Russian <laughs> words that I didn't know, which would have been probably 80%. Um, <laughs> So the Alursa here says, uh, uh, the father of the line, Vlad Kolisna, the homage of the Geline, the Ethnodine Sulin, the Geline homage de Gess. The father of the line, the Lunaya at Saikwalitsa, the Achtelan Molvan Pelendarayu, Pelendaruya, 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 Jamanasa. Starline <coughs> So um, I could not actually tell from her um, original uh, in the I Basically, it looked like it had just gone to a single woman. Like, so I just made that assumption. It was like everything was just woman. So it looked like all any and all other women in the story had disappeared. <laughs> um, the, uh, actually, I did not catch that. I, I, or, I could possibly she have corrected it, but or maybe I think I corrected it in in here and said <laughs> having the rivers flow like south, south. south and east. Quite, <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, I, 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 for whatever reason, that went back to south and north. Um, and uh, the, the woman washing for a very long time became a woman washing in a long pond <laughs> because, because the. The word order just seemed very um, flexible, and so I just I apparently misassociated one. Um, and she did keep the knowledge to herself, which was beautiful. And well, now, but she knows it now. Now she knows it. I don't know. I, I'm not sure if her, the, the, the last the ones. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so right. yeah. yes. Well, they they merged, and so any knowledge that they should be now <laughs> shared by the one person. <laughs> So, and it's an earthquake, and because of this pure woman, um, rivers always look in only one direction. This is the first Arota and the final one. And do we have the. We have an English to English, yeah. yeah. And this is from what I conjecture as they through the uh, final translation. So, as you can see, we are. Kind of far away, <laughs> but it, it, it breaks Sally's rule that these always end up as a creation. Then. Thank you. I was just going to say that people are getting better at these relays, They're better at explaining the language because really everything turns into a creation. <laughs> that's true. That's true. That's. Uh, a draw, but it's really true indeed that every really eventually ended up as a creation. Even if it was like, you know, locking your car door. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't how you were creating <laughs> The point of the story is still the same. The point is similar. Yes. Except that instead of being about the way the world was yes. in the past and now the world is different and broken, yeah. it was only a a story about a single place, about uh, a single woman 
and, and who is getting angry and the reason for being angry are quite different now. Yes. Somehow the man has ceased to become evil. He's not an evil man anymore and he's not spying on the daughters. He's just walking around on the mountain. So it becomes a story about, it, it goes from a story about, about you know, potential uh, sexual assault to a story about trespassing. <laughs> Now we can travel where we want because of the evil man, and now we can travel where we want because of this evil redemptive woman. The whole point of the story for the speakers of OCHP is is basically. First, uh, uh, a why story, why the children ask, oh, why do the rivers fall, uh, uh, flow in one direction? Well, you know what? And always the, these stories have to have a moral to it. And uh, a moral to the fact that the world was much better before, but men have, uh, we, uh, have wasted it with their uh, bad ways. So you have to be, you have to be uh, moral, you have to have your duty, the duty that I mentioned there are all the ceremonies that the human beings have to do in favor of the spirit so that the two worlds stay in balance. And so that's why this uh, punishment of completely <coughs> changing the world and changing the rivers is not that. Here it looks a bit <coughs> exaggerated. Here we are talking about wicked men that are uh, 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 nearly destroying the balance of the world by doing what they were doing. So as you see, we, have, we go from very big to very, very, very small and there was a and I think we have time to do the secondary. Oh, yeah. So let's do that. This is different. So this is people who are not here, um, most of them, I think. <coughs> in any case, so uh, things usually go quite differently in the secondary. For some reason, people are more relaxed or anything, and the uh, changes happen much faster. So we start again with the same uh, Arusha uh, uh, text. We come to uh, Jason Hall. Uh, we have a recording of this one. Oh, yes. Jesus <laughs> Zamilhanujo, <laughs> Kosasarzevistrichnishnadien, <laughs> So for people who were at the LCC6 or remember the, uh, the Conan documentary, Jesse Holmes is a, a young boy who was at the time of the LCC6, 17 I think, if I remember correctly. He was, was 19 it? already at that point. Oh, 19 already. This when he was 16. Maybe you're thinking of the number of his colleagues. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's extremely talented, extremely prolific. So uh, it's interesting that down and up have changed again to north and south. And it's already only one river. Oh, yes. <laughs> so it's already a single river. The rest, on the other hand, is a set, uh, set uh, relatively similar. So, next one. Uh, I won't try to, uh, <laughs> to uh, the, say this. Um, okay, the one next week is West Bank Road. No, okay, yeah, yeah, that's logical. West Bank, East Bank, no, but we start for okay. Um, as they, yeah, I still think that are probably conjectural in this case. The, 
women of the modern day, they were prettier than every sister to their family. I have no idea what this is. <laughs> <laughs> I think we can interpret it in high speech, Colleen. Yeah. And don't you know for the women to play to watch the mountain men went to the lake and their family members being here to take their spouses. <laughs> a mother with a sister spoke angry to the beach of the mountain and her mind became angry and the river was full of health. This is this this probably poison or something, I don't know. Then the little chain on your top where okay. Then uh, then we can come back to this this middle part is already starting to look a bit uh, there's yeah, there's some confusion about who is watching what. Yes. <laughs> yeah. uh, why the why the switch to passive voice? Yes, yeah. But it didn't know exactly <laughs> what, what, who was doing what. Yeah. <laughs> The women bathing, yeah. it's the men bathing. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, uh, and then the young guy yeah, watching the mountain that is owned by the